Eddie Atlas and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for a much anticipated. All right, let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. Scoring with the right hand by Clubber. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Nice jabs there by Clubber. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Good body shot, the right hand came home. Thunder's blocking ability is doing well for him there. hand serving well another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him well he understood that his opponent Joe was a slow starter he's jumping right on him taking advantage he returns the favor with a right hand of his own thunders hurt by a superb hook to the head Right to the head with that right. Side to side. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counter punching. And you know what he's doing is taking his opponent. Oh, that's gotta hurt. He got right there and he goes down but he looks to be fine and yeah, that's what happens when you don't have one foot flat he was up on both toes lost his balance one, two, three, four, five. hard to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Thunders ripped by an uppercut. Stay away from those. Overhand right can be so effective. End of the round here on our fight night. Always a good time to come here to this venue. Say, great fans. I mean, wherever we go on our fight night tour, we have great fans. Yeah, passionate fans. Fans that know the fighters and care about the sport. Listen. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA. That's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. Solid left hand to the head. Too many punches. Hands up. Solid right by Clover. Good defensive skill. Well, he goes to the gut with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good right hand. Parries that punch away. They're sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that.
able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Teddy, you gotta like this because he's using that jab the way you like him to. Especially when you're being aggressive. You walk in, you want to walk in where the guy can't see you coming. That jab blinds your opponent. Halfway through round number two. Thunder's left, landing well. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works Let's that time for him. Best. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind him. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Final minute of a round that'll go down in the history books. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Right hand downstairs. Glover's down the punch that will always excite a crowd, and that's that, that straight hand, that power shot. You can see it coming, and there it is. Well, he must be pretty happy that he's got an opponent that throws all wide, all round punches, because straight beats round. He scored well after being hit himself. Good, solid right hand. Solid. And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four. Five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Listen, you need to move your head more, side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Okay, listen, I need you to throw three punches, combinations. As we start a new round, Teddy, this seems basically hopeless for him. He's been knocked down numerous times tonight. Well, you never know. I mean, you go back to the 1980 Olympics, and of course, you have that great call. Do you believe in miracles? But only thing, nobody was punching that hockey team in the face. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Lovers, legs look shaky. He was hurt. You're okay. Stay with me here. And just like that, he's able to turn things around. Remember, he was stunned. Now he's in control. Hey, remember, when you have that eraser, that power, you can suddenly get rid of a lot of mistakes. Big, big shot comes crashing home. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. His opponent unable to beat the count.
A definitive ending to this bout. Wubber's knocked out. Questions about his chin before this?